Would it be safe to say that when, when building relationship with banks, you've got to understand and listen to what they're trying to tell you and how they want to productize you? Is that some a fair, fair piece of advice? Well, I think the number one fault and trap that CEOs get into is is just going down their spiel very detailed. And they can talk for hours about their business, but someone that only has half an hour and has had five meetings already today, you got to boil it down to simplify, keep it simple and, and be very direct and, and, and really encapsulate your, your company in that elevator pitch. And, 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 and it takes work. You know, the CEO knows their business so well, they can talk for hours. But you you need to be able to, to say what you need to say in a very short period of time and have it come across and land with an investor so he gets it. And, and that is the number one trap. You know, investors walk away and go, I, I, I don't get it. I don't even get what you do. And right. they want to do the detail without even without even contextualizing it. So that's the product side of it. Like, that's just like the, here's the bucket. Here's what we're talking about. Yeah. You know, it's, you make that point. It's something that I've shared before is that companies need to realize the sales process of their, of their product, their deal. And if they can't boil this down to three points that are super memorable, whether it be to an independent retail buyer or to a broker or to the banker, those three points of why you're special, then you're going to lose them. You're not going to be able to, to, to get, get that interest because there's just so much going on for these buyers. And, and it's harder than you think it is to, to, to boil your pitch down to, to the essence of it. And I was crap at it, to be honest with you at the very beginning. You know, it was kind of like, I, 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 I'm not a royalty expert. Like, I'm, I'm the CEO and the, and the, and the leader. I had... <clears throat> I had my CIO when we started was, was the royalty expert. He had started drug royalty in the 1990s in, in, in Toronto and then, and then capital royalties in Houston. And so this was his third royalty business. And I was like, oh, good, Jim. But having, having succinct when it's kind of out there, you know, it's not an easy product to explain what we do. So. We had trouble. We had, we had trouble at the beginning. It was a new product for the Europeans. So there was no other public companies, no gold, gold CEOs. I always, I always say, I envy their job. It's like, you don't have to explain what gold is. You know, it's just, <laughs> it, here's where we are in the map. You know, you, you know, here's our drill results. Are you, are you taking them ideal?